Hello out there and greetings from the Kelly Kitchen. Good morning, Magnus Aiden. Good morning, Lilith Aisley. Mwah. Good morning, Diana. Good morning, Uncle Brian and Pop Pop. Good morning, everybody. Let's go get this day started and let's wrap up this school year. To my amazing family, on my last day of work, I can say with glee, home with you is where I long to be. See you soon. Love, Daddy. And can you really call it a string when there's only one loop? Magnus Aiden ripped off another one on Friday. Magnus Aiden, another day is over. Can you rip off a ring for me? Go rip that ring off. Come on over. All right, I have this one, this pink one. Can you rip it off for me? Summer break. Just one. We are so close to Daddy's summer break. Someday. It's time for a much needed update. Today, I am very excited to report that over the weekend, four out of our five butterflies found their way out of their cocoons. It wasn't long ago that nothing was moving inside of the enclosure. Now it's bustling with life. Much like people, butterfly develop at different speeds and at different times. So for now, we'll wait and see if butterfly number five joins his brothers and sisters. But while we wait, we've provided orange slices and sugar water for the young butterflies that have arrived. This is where they'll get their nutrition while they wait to be released. So for now, we have a colorful new addition to the Kelly house. But did you know that painted lady butterflies are the most widespread butterfly species on the planet? They live everywhere in the world except for Antarctica and Australia. That's pretty amazing. These little animals sure seem delicate, but they're hardy enough to survive all over the world. And if you look right there, you'll see one dark colored cocoon. That's the one that still has a little creature growing inside. Once our last cocoon opens, we'll be all set to take our butterfly enclosure outside and let our painted lady butterflies go out and live in nature like they're supposed to. For now, they have everything they need to survive inside the enclosure, but what they all really want is to fly free. I think that one's waving at us. Hi. Hi there. So that's all the news we have to report about our butterflies. It won't be long now until they get to go outside for the first time. Butterfly, 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 fly. Butterfly, 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 fly. Fly, butterfly, fly, butterfly. All the way up into the sky. We have a late breaking development. Butterfly number five is out of the cocoon and that means the whole butterfly family will be heading outside tomorrow. I sit here on the front step waiting for Uncle Brian to come out. I can't help but think about the school year we're wrapping up and about how excited I am to be kicking off our summer break. It's going to be a really exciting time. I don't know what I would have done without Brian's help getting to work this year, but I do know one thing. Today is the last day for me to say thank you to my little brother for driving me to work each morning. Thank you. See you later, Brian. Well, Uncle Brian's off to start his Monday, so let's put our one little bag down in the nook and we can start our morning. Let's go. On my last day of work, let's see if anybody got to school before me. No siree. My plan this morning is to go to some of our favorite spots. We'll head over to Seven Presidents Park to see the sunrise, loop around the block, go through Jackson Woods, and be back in time to have the custodians let us in the building. Sound like a plan? Let's go!
Well, we just caught a beautiful sunrise on the beach, so let's loop around the block and head over to Jackson Woods next. We've made it to Jackson Woods, so now it's just a short little walk left to go before we make it back to school. What an extra special send off on our last walk through Jackson Woods this year. That was two young bucks and bucks are boy deer and we know they're boys because they had antlers growing on their head. How exciting is that? Well, that parking lot is still empty, so we're gonna have to exercise a little patience while we wait for somebody to let us in the building. Don't worry, this guy's gonna keep me company. Someone's here to let us in the building. Let's go. Hello again and good morning from my classroom right here in room 117. And today is an extra special day for me because today is my last day of work before summer break. And I couldn't be more excited. And so today is all about packing up my classroom. It's all about saying my goodbyes to my students. And today's finger play is all about saying goodbye. In fact, that's what it's called. It's called goodbye. You wanna learn it with me? Let's go.
Today's rhyme is called Goodbye, and it's sung to the tune of She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. You ready? It goes like this. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Give a smile, wink an eye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. One more time. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. Give a smile, wink an eye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to our friends. Great job. Bye, friends. Well, that was goodbye. And even though I will be saying my goodbyes to my kindergarten students today, I want them to remember that the end of one thing is the beginning of another. And so the end of kindergarten marks the beginning of summer break. And beyond that, the promise of first grade adventures. And well, I'm looking at the clock and it tells me it's time to wrap things up. So let's do a little pee ka boo pee ka boo pee Goodbye, Magnus Aiden, Lilith Hazley, I'm coming home to you soon. Oh, 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 oh,